sweet traveler, welcome and enjoy your stay. It's about time you got here, my little helper. We've got a serious problem on our hands. No, it's not another delay on my silk sheets. I mean, the shipment has been delayed again, and I didn't feel better about it even after I had the messenger whipped in front of me. That's how upset I am about it. But that's not the main problem. The problem is that one of my villages was attacked by Karela, the Great Witch. I told you about her when we first met, remember? The whole reason I made you my advisor was because she had gotten too greedy, prompting several of the Eastern Kingdoms to form an alliance. That's exactly what I thought. It's absurd that she would attack me, of all people, while she was having her empire dismantled by this alliance. At first, I was certain that the information was bad. Why, oh why, would she try to make another enemy, one she couldn't handle the ones she had at hand? But I looked into it, and there can be no doubt. She has no ordinary subjects, only minions she creates through her own magic. I had one of the few that the local garrison managed to defeat brought right to me. It's hers. There's nobody else who can make them quite like her. Do you realize what this means? It means she's somehow managed to massively increase her power. Hmm. I've been in contact with the Eastern Kingdom's alliance. They claim that the war against her empire is going just fine. But I did some digging. They're lying to me. They've lost every single engagement against her in the past three months. She's close to gaining back all the land she lost to them, and I doubt she'll stop there. Oh, I'm not at all surprised that the Alliance lied to me. They don't fully trust me, and they'd be fools if they did. They think that if I find out they're losing... I'll side with the witch. Of course, that would never happen. The message she sent me through the attack is clear. She resents me. Well, we were never on the friendliest terms, but there was a bit of a mutual respect between us because of our talent in magic. We were both sorceresses who used our prodigious magical skills to gain more and more power. I don't think she was expecting me to go help her or anything when she came under attack, but I'm sure she wouldn't have expected me to start acting friendly with her enemies. From her perspective, I sold away my dignity for my own safety. And I admit, in a way, she is right. I truly despise diplomacy, especially when it comes to the Alliance. But uh, I acted like a good, obedient little puppy, and told them how good and well-behaved I would be for them. Every word is sickened me, but I can't let my empire fall, now can I? I will not repeat my father's failure, and I will stoop as low as necessary to ensure that. But Corella just sees a former peer who 
tosses away her spirit. She hates me now, and the fact that she didn't wait until she was finished with the Alliance to come after me tells me that she is confident that she can fight us all and win. And to top it all off, this is happening at the same time as all those riots. Hmm. I'm genuinely afraid to let word of the attack spread. Because my subjects are so riled up, I can't be certain they won't try to help the witch take over. Hmm. It would be the most foolish thing they ever did, but at the moment I don't have much faith in their ability to see reason. Uh, what am I going to do about this? I couldn't fight the Alliance, so how am I going to fight someone who might be more powerful than them and myself combined? Oh, right. About why I summoned you here. Clearly I'm not prepared to go up against Corella, so I need you to use your little friendship magic to keep her at bay. How am I supposed to know? That is your job. Figure something out. I already thought of that. An alliance with her would be ideal. The problem is, she has no reason to forge an alliance with me when she hates me and doesn't need me in order to defeat her enemies. Even if I went and defeated the whole alliance for her, I doubt she'd be terribly moved. She can replace her minions quickly, so there's not much of a drawback for her to engage in battles. I... well, that's uncharacteristically kind of you to say. You don't usually praise me unless I command you to. Perhaps you're right. I am a powerful sorceress, just like her. There must be something I'm better at than her. Hmm. Even if she has gotten more powerful, she is still only human. She has to be lacking somewhere. Hmm. But where exactly? Her empire is as big as mine. Or it was at its peak. She doesn't have as much trouble conquering other lands and chasing the residents out. Her minions aren't as skilled as real people, but they can work tirelessly to make up for it. Hmm. Well, honestly, I think she doesn't keep people as subjects because she doesn't like to manage them. The minions don't make demands or protest. That must be nice. Although, that does give me an idea. She's obsessed with magic, but there are magical artifacts that she can't mass produce because her minions just don't have the skill. My empire could provide that. That's where I stand out compared to her. I'm more of a people person. Hush. I am too a people person. You know, I could have gone the same route that she did. Chased you all out and replaced you with magical minions. But I can't stand the thought of an empire filled with clumsy, mindless drones. Real people are more interesting, even if they're also a constant source of irritation. There's 
one small problem, though. I need her to be confident that I can handle my subjects well, or she'll never agree to it. I'd hate to give her the idea and then have her decide to pressure someone else into doing it for her instead. That means I need to quell this rebellion once and for all, or we'll all be going down together. Hmm. I don't like it, but you may be right. I'm not about to start going all soft on my subjects like my father did, but I think I'm going to have to appease them for now for the sake of our survival. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's not bad. Not bad at all. So we frame the production of magical products and artifacts as a change in direction, a way to make everyone more prosperous. It would create more jobs and I could allow them to keep some of the artifacts to improve their lives. Some of them could be useful for heating homes or personal protection or the like. In fact, I'm not aware of any kingdom or empire where magical artifacts are common among their subjects. It would be a unique privilege for those who live in the Abyssal Realm if they have something found nowhere else, perhaps they'll be more willing to swallow the high taxes and strict laws. Oh, I'm certain you don't intend that last part, but like always, you manage to inspire me despite your silly commoner ways. And this time, you actually provided me with some Direct advice. Well done, my good little helper. We'll have to put this plan into action immediately. Hopefully, Carella is satisfied with just sending me a message and not declaring full-on war just yet. In fact, I should probably find a way to leak my plans to her. I doubt she'd believe me if I told her all of this directly, but if she thinks her spies figured it out on their own, she'll hopefully wait to see how this plays out. Hmm, this is such a relief. I'll tell you what, little helper. If this plan works and we don't get wiped off the face of the earth, I'll grant you a request. Any request you like. Well, that's just not fair. I was expecting you to ask for something for yourself, not the whole kingdom. Well, perhaps I should say I was hoping for it. But now I suppose I really should have realized you would go for something so sickeningly sentimental. Very well. If the plan works, I'll start being more moderate with the death penalty. At the very least, I'll stop killing people when I'm bored. I can't promise more than that, but we'll see. Say, how about a walk through the gardens? I need to relax after all that excitement. And your presence is always rather soothing. Lovely. Come along, then. Boop. Big shout-out to Waterway for wonderfully writing such amazing scripts. Evil queen, evil queen, why are you so evil, plotting the destruction? 
and claiming its survival. Evil queen, evil queen, please listen to your advisor. Evil queen, evil queen, please be more diplomatic. Evil queen, evil queen.